Well, everyone, it's right after game day. The championship game day. I'm proud to say I did it. Top 8. What position did I get? Tune in to the end of the video to find out. Right now, I just wanted to show you. These are the cards I picked up at... Uh, at this local game shop, uh, Moe's Magic, my favorite place to play. Uh, I I need this for my Merfolk deck, but there wasn't a, there wasn't many stores selling these, and um, there were the only one I could find was foiled, so I had to buy it. Um, I wanted to buy these ones for an experimental Golem deck for standard. I don't know if it's gonna work, but and. Yes, I bought an Ornithopter. What? Here is the thing I won for playing. Um, even though uh, technically I was in second last place, I uh, um, technically I shouldn't have won this, but because there was not a lot of people playing, we all got one. So that's that's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, time to open this up. See what we get. As you can see, my audio is worse because of the how high up my camera is. My audio will now suffer because uh, uh, my audio will suffer because uh, my mic is only hanging below the camera because I have nowhere else to hold the mic. If I put it back on top of my camera, it's gonna be facing the ceiling, and my voice is not at the ceiling so anyway so I got this oh wow. okay got this and I got this you got plus one plus one do, do, do. a foil rare is a foil rare a foil land is a oh yeah it's a promo awesome this guy I kinda like because I, I wanted to make a cycling deck Blue white flying and then it enters the battlefield each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells during the player's next turn. Um Yeah. That's good. Good is dumb. So here is the crappy vampire deck I was playing. Um everybody else was playing vampires, so it's like um I didn't really stood a chance, I guess. Um uh, my only benefit is I had uh, I had four of the Twilight Prophet, or no, I had three of them. So that was that was really the only advantage I had. I tested this standard deck against two of my friends' um, modern decks, and I obliterated both of them, and it was free for all. Yeah, and now when I go to standard, uh, I lost. I lost one out of the four matches. I wanted to test this out and now I know it's not as good as I thought it was. Uh, that's the problem when you test out your deck ahead of time and it does really well and then when you hit standard you're just like Tch, you just get steamrolled. <laughs> I'm used to it. So Wednesday I did my vampire deck for Wednesday Night Magic so and then that didn't do well so I tried my merfolk deck which I think was the better one of the two. And um, once again, so for Friday Night Magic, I lost. Uh, I came in like either last or second last, one of those two positions. Didn't really matter. The only reason I lost, well, the first game was actually good. It was a good game. Um, I think I got mana screwed on the second one of that game. Otherwise, it would have been a really even battle. Um, but then again, my opponent got mana screwed in the first game, and he still won. So his deck, I knew right away, was going to be really good because it was a vampire deck, but using a combination of cards I've never seen before. And then the second game I lost because mana screwed, which is funny because every time I played this deck against my friends, it's been amazing. It's been great. I've been hitting my land drops every time and all that, and so I found it very weird. I don't know what it was. 
it's I think it was just bad shuffling and it just so happens that I didn't um majority of the hands I got I only had two lands but I had one of each color so I was like oh I'm gonna keep the third match was a draw after losing the two matches the third one was a draw and the fourth one I got a free win because no one else I could play against so technically we had an uneven amount of players so I got a buy um, so free win or whatever um, which I'm a little bit mad about because I, I really wanted to test my deck so I would have preferred to play again but I understand so I'm gonna try this again for Friday Magic but in the meanwhile let's open up some stuff and that's my mic in case anyone's wondering so I bought uh, four of nightmare because apparently because of the um, helping to learn magic player decks or whatever they called um, apparently nightmare is in standard and I love nightmare this is one of my favorite horse cards like ever and I got four of them because I lost a couple in my deck that when I moved my standard deck that I built a long time ago which I loved by the way went missing. I don't know, maybe I'll build a standard deck with Nightmare, because I just think that's so amazing that this isn't standard. Anyways, this is the important part right here, because no one cares about Nightmare. Except me. Okay, so here we go. Ixalan Standard Booster. I'm hoping for a the, some cards from the new set, but I don't think, I think this is only for Ixalan, so it's where the other one I opened was for Rivals, so this one won't have anything Rivals. So since it's not going to have anything Rivals, I just, I guess I'm praying uh, for, I guess, a Vraska that's foiled, I guess. It's like... Oh, look, it's the card that's banned in Standard. Awesome. I got three of them now. And. Oh! Okay! That's good! Uh huh. Reduce the rubble, I don't think I've ever gotten yet. But, uh, now I got foiled. And a nice planes. Awesome. But, uh, yeah. That's a highlight right there. Well, I was working on a green-white cat deck. I guess I could run this. Let's see. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Don't know if I would run it in my cat deck, but... It's a planeswalker. Ayo! The next day. Boom! Kaladesh Fat Pack. In all its glory. A set I'm not as familiar with. I know there's lots of artifacts and Gear Hulk. <laughs> That's annoying. That's an annoying card to deal with. Especially your decks that are built specifically around that card. Anyways, let's open this up. Ah, scissors. Stabby, stabby. There we go. This was the very last fat pack in uh, in my favorite game store. And so I knew I had to get it before someone else bought it. Yes. I mean, the book looked a little damaged on here, but um, it actually looks fine from here yeah that's weird because it looks here let's see this this looks damaged the cardboard but um, this itself doesn't look damaged Woo! you see those good cards I didn't <laughs> okay let's see what we got here shucks oh well at least most of it's intact Kaladash the city of mechanical artifacts and gear hulks. Nice box. Once again, I dislike that new triangle design. I, I liked it before when it was perfectly flat, like square. But anyways, so 
We got black dye. Cool. My ten boosters of Kaladesh. Lots and lots of land. Make sure my focus is good. That should be good. I just gotta remember to keep my hands in that position. <laughs> Spontaneous artist. That sounds like me. Uh, once again, I'm not as familiar with this set, so if I'm a little bit slow on the commons, because I've, uh, I've never seen most of these cards. <laughs> uh, a whaler? Whaler! Oh, that's a nice art. I mean, other than the fact that the whale is about to get brutally murdered, but... <gasps> Ooh, a foil. Uh, uncommon, uncommon. Oh, I got another Inventor's Fair. Uh, I got... I bought two of these separate on their own. I figured they'd be good for artifact decks, and now I got a third one. Ooh, now that is a nice foil. Look at that. This is actually a really nice removal card, I think. But I always wondered what this looked like foil, so... And I will say, um, the camera does not do it justice, um, what it, the foiling looks like on camera. It definitely, it is pretty cool. Next up, we got this one. Do, do, do. I am having problems. There we go. Okay. Thriving Rats, yeah, once again, I have no good commentary, because I am not a great Magic player, and I'm very unfamiliar with the set, so, yeah, wow, look at that, a Planeswalker I don't have, awesome, that's a very odd last ability, you get an emblem your opponents can't your opponents can't untap more than two tournaments during their untap Oh, during their untap step. I thought it was your untap step. I'm like, that's very odd if it's your untap step that they can't untap more than two. But wow, on there Wow, that that would be that's that's worse than getting mana screwed. Granted, I don't know how big this uh, set is. If, if this is a really big set, then yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good right now. This is a small set. I guess I'm doing okay. Rhino. Let's see. Do, do, do. Uncommon. Ooh, that's a nice vehicle. I really like vehicles. I just wish there was like a format built around vehicles. Uh, I got the land. Cool. Well, I'm just trying to think right now what would help me with the current decks that I have in standard. I'm like, what what card in this set could help my decks win standard? And off the top of my head, I'm just thinking maybe mana fixing, so land, but I, I just don't know what specifically I would be looking for. A creature. Oh, refurbish. There is a deck I saw during one of the pro tours or whatever where somebody was using this, and I was like, I want to build that deck because that was such a cool deck around this ability. Oh, I finally got, I think this might be my first e for hub First e for hub I've ever gotten. Almost every energy deck I've ever gone up against in Standard had this card. So it's definitely good if you have energy. Oh, uh, boo, boo, boo. Key to the City, which is a very interesting card. Gremlin. A tune with Efer, now banned in Standard. Couldn't believe it. St 
start your engines. He goes, to come from Christian to control get plus two and plus two. Oh, that would be a fun to run in and, um, vehicle deck. Oh, and look at that. I got Lost Legacy again. Removals, removal, eh? Yeah, I don't know what it is with me and fat packs, but when it comes to fat packs, I usually either get a duplicate of a rare, or, um, or I get at least two planes, or two mythics. It's just that I don't know what it is. It's like, is that just how fat packs are designed now? Because I usually don't get that much doubles when you get, um, like, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. If I can get another uh, free more uh, refurbish, that would be nice. Uh, apparently I got a foil. Didn't see what it was. Was it an artifact? I don't know. No, it's green. Looks like. Eliminate to competition. Oh, look at that bloody violence. Oh, man. Who goes to castle and go to separate this creature, destroy X target creatures. Ah, uh, that is, that is cool. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And, oh, I got a cat. Five cost, foil. Bradfield, get counters, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> Zero four, camel wall. <laughs> Uh, I always like creatures like that where it's like one cost and it's like really high t high defense. Always did. I did one time, I uh, did a wall deck. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was like just whatever. I just threw in every wall that I ever had. It was a bad deck, but it was a fun deck. Cool. I got a foil one of that one in one of my standard boosters, I think. I think. It's either that guy or someone who's very similar to that guy. Come on. Ooh, okay. Destroy my cards. Before they even get out of the package. Demolish. I need refurbish. Give me more refurbish. Foundry Inspector. Oh, whatever that is. Gearsmith. Enters the battlefield, return to your factory, creature cover, graveyard to your hand. Captured by the consulate. Cool, that's cool. Ooh. That's cool because it's like if you go to destroy target creature, it'll end up destroying this one, so. Very cool, removal. And down to the last two packs. Let's see what we got. Do, do, do. It's an angel. It's a Gundam. It's Stomper. Morbid curiosity. Master Trinker. Or is it this guy that I got foiled? I'm not sure now. Oh, I got an R foil workshop. And an ad card. No. Dad, dad. Here it is. The last booster. What's it gonna be? That looks cool. I don't know what card that is, but that looks cool. <laughs> Come on, open. Okay. Dramatic reversal. I always love that card. <laughs> In the sense of announcing it. Um, dramatic reversal. Kingpin. Hmm. Life link one four whenever our effect enters by five under your control scrum one. Ooh Ooh, that's a neat card. Extraction Nest Crane Who are you? You are a dwarf pilot. Other dwarves you control get plus one plus one. Is there this is 
This is like the only dwarf I've seen so far. Interesting for a dwarf vehicle deck, but uh, I don't think there's a lot of dwarf. Oh, okay, dwarf Ar artificer. So, um, okay, so there there has been lots of dwarves in the set apparently. I got free foils, one of them being a foil rare, and then I also got Dovenbone. Woo! Plane Walker. Woo! Don't think I'll use them for anything, but whatever. Three days later. Well, it's Valentine's Day, and uh, I went to my local game shop and I tried out my Merfolk, Merfolk deck again, and uh, um, there was not a lot of people. There was only three people, including me, there to play Wednesday Night Magic, and so they gave one to every player. So that's awesome. Um, my deck. Uh, was awful, uh, especially compared to the decks I was against. I did my best, um, but my best was not good enough. So, anyways, I'm gonna open this up now. So I got in last place. Let's see if I got anything good. Do do do. I usually get something interesting or good in these packs. I find. I got. Oh, release the gremlins. I always wanted to play with this card. Don't know if I'll do that in standard, but destroy X target artifacts. Great. Bounty of Luxa. Oh yes, foiled fetal pools, and a awesome swamp. Um, Bounty of Luxa. I tried playing. Um, I can see its use, but not in standard. But this, this is the highlight right here. Because I, I, I'm thinking because of my merfolks and vampires, I'm thinking I'm going back and trying to do a blue-black deck for standard. And I already got two of these, and now I got a foil one. That is awesome. Look at that. I let my thumb block the picture. <laughs> but, yeah. Really nice. There's all my magic decks, you know, all destroyed and from the fetal pools. I will rise. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> where I was going with that, but anyways. Well, another Friday night magic has come and gone and another loss is added to my belt. <laughs> uh, even though I lost everything, I was lucky enough to win the random prize pool, and I got City's Blessing foiled, which is exactly what I wanted, which looks amazing. Oh, yeah. And also, there's the other side, which I didn't actually realize until I got home. Elemental foil. Eventually, uh. I found a in a shop. One left for sale is the Ixalan pre another Ixalan pre-release pack. So this should be uh, should be fun. One last jab at something that will help my deck out. And tomorrow is the big day, and I don't really have a good deck to play the. Rivals of Ixalan Champion Day. So, let's open this up. Maybe it'll be something good. Actually, before I open this up, I'll show you I picked up... Yes, I picked up Le Scarab Good. Uh, yeah, I caved in. It was a much lower price than it was last week. So, I was like, yeah, I might as well pick it up. Um, Blue Black. Yeah, very good card. I don't know if I'll play this card or not. Oh, let's return to this. Man, I wish I had scissors. <laughs> Never forget those scissors. I'm just... Wow, I'm having a 
hard time opening this up. I don't really care about the package. I have so many of these. I just care about the cards on the inside. Really. Wow, what is this? Is this like resealed? I've never, I've never seen a pack so hard to open. Or maybe it's because it hasn't been opened in since it came out of the factory. So maybe, maybe it's just a little more tougher. See what the promo is. It is artifact. Oh, please don't let it be silent gravestone. Please don't let it be. The... Oh, fuck. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Hopefully our boosters are better. But, uh, yeah, it has the things in it. Well, I'm a little pissed off I got a silent gravestone. It's, I don't know. Are these pre-release packs uh, mappable? It's, I don't know. Uh, something good, something good. Something I need to win tomorrow. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Morning. Um, foiled mark of the, oh, 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 I'm going to search another, search for, search for, uh, ass, uh, foil, looks nice. Did I open that on camera or did I move off camera? It's been a while since I filmed Magic the Gathering unboxing. Do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. Let's we'll see what we got here. Con. Uncommon. Oh, yeah, boy. Jace. I got free Jaces. Yeah, woo. That's quite exciting. Yeah, yeah, boy. I got so many mythics from opening up the pre-release packs that I had. Um, you can check out that video. Um, but I literally, I got like free mythics every pre-release pack. It was, it was like ridiculous. Yes. Yes. I got the merfolk I wanted. That's, that's really, that's all that matters. Um, I currently have two of these and now I have three. So that's. See, that's that's the card I was looking for. So um, I got one Mythic in that. So I'm actually I'm happy so far with this. Boo, boo, boo. Common, 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 common. Uh, wall of Barrier. Wall of Barrier. These vanish. And another Vlings Hunger. Ah, pretty decent removal for black. I don't know. Should I play my merfolks? Should I play my vampires? Or should I just throw something together for tomorrow and just hope it works? And I got the dinosaur. Oh, a nice uh, foil on gun. Oh, that's nice. I don't think the dinosaur is worth that much, but... Ah, ba 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 Last pack. Still a little bit unhappy that my pre-release promo was the Silent Gravestone. It could have been anything else but that. And another one of these merfolks. Now this, this merfolk is interesting, but I just don't see a good use for it in standard right now. One pair of pants later. It is now near the end of the video. The reason I got in top eight was because there was only seven people there, including me. And I lost every game. Why are we still here? Anyways, one of the winners was actually really nice and uh, gave me uh, 
He gave me a whole bunch of uh, the commons, uncommons, and tokens. Um, which is awesome. I might as well just take a look for this now. Really quickly. Which was really nice of him. I thanked him. But yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo, boo. I actually want to build a deck with this guy. So, yeah. this. Oh, he actually gave me a rare. Oh, I didn't. Even <laughs> I I actually didn't notice that he gave me. Uh, he gave me a couple of rares. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. I didn't even realize that. I was just happy getting some more, uh, some more of these cards, but. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I got, for being in seventh place, technically, I won a booster. Woo. Open that up, Lass. Uh, I also purchased these because I realized Ray's dead and Nightmare was in, uh, standard so i was like I, i'm gonna get a couple of these and I, I got four of them and well i did have four of them i don't know where the other one went but i had two of these and two of these ones i really love the art on them but anyways i was thinking of making a deck with them but that sort of fell through but anyways oh there it is ray's dead there's the fourth one uh i bought this card because um uh, i haven't i don't think i've gotten any of these ones yet but um I'm thinking with the new Dominaria Explorers, I'm going to make a green-black Sappering Explore deck. So, this card would be good with it, I believe. Anyways, and here's the promo I got just for playing, which is awesome. Dominaria. Yeah, closer look. I, I really like, I kind of like this deck box. My only problem with the prizes for this, uh, for game day for Ixalan, Rivals Ixalan, is everything's Dominaria. And it's like, you think these would be the prizes for a Dominaria tournament. No, it's Rivals Ixalan, and they're they're already plugging the next set. Uh, I would have actually have loved to have uh, Rivals of Ixalan themed stuff, but uh really like that owl on the inside. But um, I am a little bit excited for Dominaria. I'm not going to lie. And I'll probably build a deck and use that deck box but anyways the last booster of rivals of ixalan i'm going to open up for this ending of exploring ixalan yeah it's been a it's been a fun ride i mean most of it was hitting my head against the wall trying to figure a deck to build and here it is get that focus let's end it off with something amazing or uh, is it going to just end uh, very poorly? I don't know. Boom. Oh, there we go. We got a... Wait a second. Wait a second. Foil rare. And a flip card. Okay. I was, I was trying to figure out that order. Uh, it's awesome. I got another Hayden's Climb. Which is great. And a foil rare is a foil rare. Granted, this card is uh, interesting to say the least. But a foil rare is a foil rare. Anyways, and a sap ring. Oh, is that foreshadowing? Ooh, my new deck that I'm going to do down there. Yeah, originally I was going to quit standard, but I decided not to. I'm just gonna I'm gonna give Dominaire one chance. Thank you, anyone who's watched any of my exploring Exxon videos. Um, it was a little bit of experiment and, you know, yeah, it, it was an interesting experience overall, but it's time for bonus unboxing. Dominaria just came out. Well, not came out. Dominaria pre-release just happened and you know what? Um, it just so happens I have one pre-release pack to open and a couple boosters. Let's open this up.
Do do do. I'm gonna go pretty fast through this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Decent. Swung. I'm looking for the uh, slime foot stowaway. Need more of him. Do do do. Uh, Karn would be nice. What is that? Enters battlefield tapped and does not untap during your untapped step where you can't start untap him. Wow. Four cost seven seven. Wow. <laughs> dub. I dub everything. Boo boo boo. Porn. Uh, blade. Uh, plus three, plus zero. Vigilance, trample, and more creature dies. Target creature you control. Oh, that's cool. And I got the pre release version of that. That one. Okay. Boo boo boo. Interesting. Okay. Here it is. I'm hoping for a promo slime foot stowaway. Come on. Ah, I miss scissors. And for some reason, I'm missing my uh, <laughs> exacto knife. Come here. It's supposed to be quick bonus unboxing. Okay. Give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, I thought for a second I got that um, nine free legendary. Oh, I got Gilded Lotus promo. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. This is a really nice one to get a uh, promo of. This is a classic reprinted card, I believe. And, uh, who's this? Four, five, six. They don't discard the actual player. That player discards a card at random. That player can't. You draw a card. Uh, okay. It's Booster one. Do do do. Standing by. Let's uh not destroy all the cards, Mitchell. Okay. Okay, so this is that, uh, whenever, <laughs> that's an annoying card to deal with, uh, <laughs> in, uh, limited, so, yeah, I guess that's a good card, uh, do, 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 arcane flight, do, 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 best art ever. Flying cat, and the cat is freaked out. Do do do. Um. Oh yeah, the very interesting. Uh, destroy all lands, and then slowly return everyone's lands. Oh look, it's the guy I got a promo of. That would have been interesting playing two of him for a pre-release pack. Do do do. Oh, oh. has this been tampered with already? That's weird. Hmm. This has been resealed. Nah, no, just kidding. I have no idea if it was resealed. I have no idea if it was resealed. Oh, a foil. Um. Whoa, how many uncommons did I just get? Hold on. Okay, so... Uh, okay, one, two, three, okay. So I got Wizard's Retort Foil. So That's cool. Oh, so there is a counterspell in this set. I haven't seen it yet. And, uh, 
this dude was actually uh cool usually counter spells foiled are worth so, uh something so Uh, do 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 do. Give me slime foot stowaway. Uh, that's just to say. I mean, I really like the art, but oh, uh, it's that really good uh, human knight. Kind of. Uh, yeah. Another one of these. I now got three of these. Ah, I got my first one that isn't a promo. Really like that card. Uh, as well with uh, as well as the uh, slime foot and the the merfolk and green blue one. Really cool having commanders around those ones. Come on. Come on. Open this up really quick. Boo boo boo. Ooh, another foil. Blink of an eye. Cool. And oh, that's yeah. I definitely would have been playing black in this pool. Um. Wow. Additional cost to cast spell. You may sacrifice any number of creatures. Yep. Yeah, I was up against this. This was uh, really fun to deal with, I will say. Oh, cleric token. That looks nice. Well, that's the end. For real. Or is it? The next day. But wait, there's more! Bonus, bonus unboxing. Let's do this really quick. Boom. Open up. Okay. Last chance for a stowaway. <gasps> I just got the Yargle. And that rare artifact. Awesome. Cool. Not a bad way to end it, but. Uh, it's not wasn't the one I wanted, but who am I complaining? I just got Yargle. Yargle, frog spirit. Definitely keeping these. Bam, bam, bam. Look at me, I'm making a mess. I'm trying to hurry before my battery runs out on my camera. Boom. Another one of these, and that's the card I was looking for promo-wise, but now I got two. I need two more. Will I get two more in this pack? Let's find out. Uh, blessing. Oh, I got that rare land. Uh, okay. I'm just messing up piles. Oh well. I'll sort it out later. Do 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 do. Time for the most messiest unboxing video ever. Common. Oh, I got a mythic uh, dragon. Um, sure, that's great. I guess. I don't know. Never. I didn't know there was actually a dragon in the set. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Info. I love turtles. Okay. Boo 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 boo. Juggernaut. Uh, first time seeing Jerk. Yes, I got I got a second one. I got a second one. That's awesome. Or no, that was my that's my third one. I just need one more, and I got a place out of them. Do 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 do. Foil. Um, Calvary. Wow, I just opened up two of the same Mythics. This is the same pre-release pack. Damn it, I really wish we played this event. This is a, this event that I got the pre-release pack for was cancelled. Um, but we still went home with the boosters. 
this booster is bent. Hopefully uh, nothing amazing is in here. All the other boosters were fine. This was the only one that was bent. Um, look at that quality. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder if I got a curved Karns. Uh, oh, I got that Druid Val, which I was going to get eventually, and that guy. Okay, yeah, that's good. I also forgot I won four boosters just for uh, just for playing. So I guess we're not going to end with the Yargle. We're going to end with uh, whatever's in here. Wow, the quality has gone. The crap. Okay. Fast, 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 fast. Um, foreign guy, awesome. Uh, don't know what that is. Looks cool. I hate this card. I got two of the uh, pre-release promos of that card. Okay. I wanted stowaway. I wanted the slime foot stowaway. Give it to me. Even though I, there's no way I can get a pre-release promo on this. Another, a land. You couldn't at least give me the green white land. Like honestly. Um, Cool uh, equipment. That's oh plus one plus yeah okay I I love that I love that equipment that is a great piece of equipment. Wish I got more of those <laughs> than uh, some other currents. Uh, boo, boo, boo. And we'll end this off with Yagamos vile offering and oh yeah that's funny that's funny. Just because I mentioned how much I hate this card, I should get it. Oh, and I got an emblem. Awesome. Epilogue. So, that was the end of Exploring Ixalan. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of whatever the hell this series was. And thank you very much for watching. I want you, that's you, to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching, and I really appreciate it.